Here we are for game four. Uh, I have won the die roll. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Um, I am going to keep this hand. I have two spells, three creatures. Uh, no idea what I'm up against, but as long as it's not something too awful of a matchup, this is a great hand to keep. I think I'm going to go turn one stomping ground. Uh, just to minimize the damage I'm taking. Uh, and then run out the Goblin Guide. See what... Treetop Village, so it's something to be some sort of junk or Abzan deck. Uh, maybe Collected Company. This isn't a great matchup for me. Turn one Thoughtseize, Inquisition, Inquisition. Probably going to take Boros Charm, considering that represents four damage. Taking the time to type it out. Yep. I'm going to go... Ooh, I could run out the Eidolon here. I think I actually might run out the Eidolon here. Um, do I want to grab a Foundry in that case? Uh... I'll grab a mountain. Just limiting the amount of damage I'm taking. I actually probably should have attacked with Goblin Guide first just to get the information off the top of his deck, Vault of Archangel, which he just drew. Um, so is this black-white tokens, then? No. Like Abzan tokens? I thought Vault of the Archangel was mainly a black-white tokens deck card. I could be just completely wrong on that fact, but that was my impression. Alright. So here I think I'm going to go Swift Spear, Suspend Rift Bolt, and then the next turn, Atarka's Command and attack with everybody. So let's run out the Swift Spear. I'll take my two. Lingering Souls on top. That's not good, actually. That's actually pretty bad for me. Because he's going to be able to... Well, I still got one guy through, uh, as long as I remember to spend my Rift Bolt right now. Almost forgot to. I was, I was, I was already thinking about next turn. Uh, so I attack with everybody, cast Rift Bolt, Tarkus Command. I'm getting 3-6. I should be getting... Uh, nine damage through next turn. So unless they're playing Kitchen Finks and getting life or something. This is an interesting deck I'm against, though. Ergophobia. Alright, there's a better name. There's a better name. Therefore, phobia. Although that is a mashup of Latin and Greek, which I'm not a fan of as a classicist myself. <sighs> Alright, make your decision. Make your decision. Unless you're going to gain life or kill one of my creatures, I've got gotcha. you. Can't use Tech Edge on me. Oh yeah, I even forgot about the the uh, trigger off 
uh, Eidolon, so this is actually going to be even easier. I'm not even going to need to get a guy through. And then I draw a lightning bolt and it doesn't matter at all. To the sideboard. No need to show Tarkus command, even though he probably knows I have it. Um, I think in this matchup, do you want to bring in Leyline of Punishment? Uh, they're probably running Soren. I mean, I'm 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 saying it's probably like Abzan tokens, but that just could be completely wrong as well. Uh, maybe they'll bring in Batter Skull, so maybe Smash the Smithereens is a good card to bring in. Uh, or Destructive Revelry, maybe they'll bring in Leyline of Sanctity. Uh, I think the way I lose is if they bring in Leyline of Sanctity, so I'm going to decide in the Destructive Revelry, because those can also get the uh, anything if they run like Dragon's Claw or if they run Batter Skull, so it hits all of that. It's a nice catch-all, so I'm going to side that in. I'm going to take out Shard Volley, just because I hate you. Um, and I'll take out Lightning Helix, because I am going to be... I'm not going to be the one... Uh, needing to gain life. Uh, do I need to take out Eidolons? No, this looks good to me. Searing Blaze is okay against the tokens. I mean, it takes the token away and deals three damage for two mana, so I mean, it's not horrible, it's not great. Um, this is not a good hand. No turn one creature. I can get all of my mana. I can Searing Blaze on turn two. Uh, I have Destructive Revelry if I need it. Uh, I'll keep, but I'm not pumped about it. I think this is actually a bad keep on my part. And the, I mean, the more I sit here and think about it, the more I... Th yeah. What are they going to take? Boros Charm again, probably, or maybe the Destructive Revelry, if they have something that it hits. Probably the Boros Charm, though. They're probably looking for a creature right here. Instead, I'm just going to top deck one knock on wood. And they're going to be like, oh man. Oh, they're going to take Steering Blaze. Okay, so they probably have like a... Uh, their Goif would be a 3-4 on turn 2. Because I'd have to crack a fetch to hit it. And there's a Sorcery Instant, and then there'd be a land. Tarkus Command. Not exactly what I wanted to see, but I'm not mad about it. I'm going to fetch... A is actually going to make their goif bigger. Ugh, shouldn't have done that. Uh, I'm going to fetch a stomping ground, pay the two, and then just spike his face. Yeah, so he was he was going for the turn two goif, and I think that was dumb of him for taking the searing blaze because it was going to be a three four no matter what. So that was a mistake on his part. I'm gonna run out the sacred foundry here and pay the two and just pass. If he tries to uh like play anything that gains him life. I'm gonna skull crack him. Maybe he plays Kitchen Finks, or if he plays uh, End Step, I will go ahead and Boros Charm him. Uh, this 
This isn't good right now for me. Uh, I'm going to pass back. He's probably going to play like Siege Rhino or something. Uh, which is, I'm going to leave Atarka's command up. And then next turn I will uh, Lightning Helix and gain life. And I'll knock him down to 7 and I'll be at 3, 6. Thought sees. Uh, I want the three life, so I'm going to lightning helix in response. And he can take any of those. If he takes the destructive revelry, which he doesn't, okay. That would mean he ha definitely has the. Uh, uh, batter skull. Is he gonna pay the life? If he has kitchen finks, he should. But it will put him in range of... Yeah, that was a good play on his part, because it would put him in range of just me being able to... Uh, bolt and... End step. I'm going to crack and go find a... Uh, I'm going to another stomping ground and not pay the life. This way, I, if I do draw land, I can have up Destructive Revelry and a Tarkus Command. Here, just going to pass back again. Activate Treetop Village. Oh, is that is a 3-3, three, three, right? So that'll be six. Down to five. So this is a two turn clock right now. Yep. Considering I can't do anything about it. Go to end step. I will Boros charm your face. And hope I draw another one. Or a lightning strike or something. Or even a goblin guide, I guess. Unless he has the kill spell. If he has a one mana kill spell, then um but excuse my French. Sorry. I've been trying not to swear on here. But I just did okay, so he could have slaughter pact, I guess. It's pretty ballsy to have in at post board against this deck. Yep, all right, I got there. Alright, well, three and one. Uh, this is... I, I'm also confused about joke. I don't get what he means by that. Maybe he thinks I'm a joke. Maybe he thinks life is a joke. Maybe his own existence is a joke to him. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not going to worry too much about it. But, uh, so this is my first, uh, time actually being in the money in, uh, MTGO. Uh, so that was kind of cool. Uh, my first time ever, uh, being in a daily like this. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this was fun. 
Uh, I'm going to, again, I think, I think I said last time I'm going to look to get a deck of my own. Uh, I think I was looking at Living Twin just because it's so cheap, and also it seems like a lot of fun. Uh, if I had my choice of any deck, uh, it would be Amulet Bloom, but that's about that's about twice the cost of the Living Twin deck. So we'll see what I end up going with. Uh, I'm going to play a lot more this coming fall because I'll be heading to graduate school and moving away from my playgroup. Uh, so I will be playing significantly more online, and I will, will probably end up start. I'll probably start building up my online collection. Uh, so I may do one more daily with this deck before I lend it get before I give it back to my friend. Um, we'll see. I may do a tournament on Thursday with my friend online uh, uh, who uh, do the mox change. There's a Thursday night tournament uh, for free and five rounds of Swiss cut to top eight. Um, pretty good prizes and it's all free sponsored by mox. Mox Exchange, Mox Change, I think it's Mox Exchange, um, but it's pretty cool. Uh, you can check it out on BattleFY.net. It's Mad Hatted's. Uh, Mad Hatted is the username of the uh, guy who runs the tournament. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching this uh, video. Um, please let me know every single play mistake I made, and uh, I will see you next video.